What's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We're out here in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Just got off the plane, got to this hotel, and guess what? It's time to bring you more details on the truck I have next to me. What is this? This is the all new, first time ever, 2024 Chevrolet Silverado EV. But before we get into this RST trim of the popular Silverado truck line, let's talk about what's going on here. Things are changing. There's a movement towards electrification. You guys already know that you'd have to be living under a rock to not realize the changes that are happening. Ford already has their Lightning series of pickup trucks, taking that name from the 1990s that really was about internal combustion engine performance and applying it to their first full-size electric pickup truck. We were at the auto show, the New York auto show, not that long ago and brought you that Ram Rev 1500. That's gonna be Ram's first ever full-size electric pickup truck. Well, guess what? We now have another model of this Silverado EV RST. We already brought you that blue one. This one though, looking slick, all with that gloss black paint job. I wanna dive in, give you some more details and find out if you're looking for an electrified truck, is this the better one to get over a Ford Lightning or that Ram Rev? Let's go ahead, let's dive in and find out. Right off the bat, the proportions. It looks like a Chevy Silverado should look. And it's interesting because if you know your Chevy truck history, you would know once upon a time there was a truck called the Avalanche. And it's interesting how the body lines of this Silverado EV kind of fit the lines of that Avalanche. But Chevy promises, they swear up and down, that this has nothing to do with the Avalanche, that that was just something that happened accidentally, it wasn't on purpose. Now at the front of the business, when we're talking about RST, this is gonna be the top trim. And what does RST stand for? Rally Sport Truck. So of course you're gonna get that unique style that Chevy is known for, LED daytime running lamps that go all the way across the front. We have then that small pod with our LED, of course, projector beam style headlight. You are gonna get some active openings here to help channel that air, those air curtains through the fender. And I like the way with this RST especially, you could see that nice flared fender, how it rises up and then blends in as it goes down the rest of the vehicle. Now, as we drop back down, having that beautiful black paint just spilled all over with more functionality, you could see that channeling that air, and that's one of the ways that they're able to get a high range out of this Silverado EV truck is by having good aerodynamics and low coefficient of drag. Plus, in the belly of this beast, we have that Ultium battery pack. Now, at the front, you're gonna have that what's called e-trunk trunk feature. So this front area we're gonna show you opens up and you have storage in there, you have some power outlets, really nice to have that functionality and usability since of course this is powered by two electric motors. One up front, one out back. When you go RST trim, you're looking at around 754 horsepower and over 700 pound-feet of torque. And if you're wondering, well, what about range? GM and the EPA are expecting this to be around 400 miles of range on this Silverado EV. Now, as we drop down, of course, you have that famous bow tie goes all the way back to the early 1900s when Louis Chevrolet started the brand. And then I'm really digging how, especially on this black one, that center e-trunk area blends in very cleanly. Now, their entry trim to the Silverado EV is the WT, and that's the work truck, the work truck trim. We're gonna be bringing you that and doing a full drive. You'll see how with the white truck exterior, this part is all blacked out, but on our black painted RST, it blends in very nicely. You do have a forward facing camera. Functionality in this lower grill area with active shutters, because remember that Ultium battery pack that is liquid cooled. So we need some cool air to help with the cooling of that battery pack. And even the way they did the arrow on the lower portion, very aggressive looking and definitely screams Chevrolet. Now, when you rise on up, you have that e-trunk, like I said, 
opens up. We're gonna do that in a second. Love the way they formed the hood. Nice little peak in the center, and then you have that curve. And it's all about, like I said, coefficient of drag, that nice curve all the way towards the windshield. Now, as we come around the bend, what are we working with wheel and tire setup? You're gonna find on this top RST trim, you're getting these massive styled wheels. Now, these particular ones, 24 inches in diameter, machined aluminum accents, and then of course, you're gonna have that carbon flash metallic paint job, looking really slick. You can see that nice painted fender opening. If you're wondering, well, Joe, what kind of tires do we have? We have those Michelin Primacy LTX tires. Those tires are specific for helping to get good range and not have a bunch of drag. I'm gonna have Steven kind of zoom in and show you that air suspension. So ground clearance, you're looking around 8.7 inches, but then you could raise and lower this truck, just like we've shown you on some of the other GM vehicles, like of course that Hummer EV truck, that air suspension is really gonna provide that kind of performance. Now, as we come down the side, like I was saying, we have the painted mirror caps, all black all the way around, your LED turn signals, we have a 360 degree camera, and one of the nice touches, instead of having the Silverado name up higher, I feel like they put it in the perfect place and the blue on the E signifies this being a full BEV. What does BEV stand for? Battery electric vehicle. Now you'll notice that you're gonna get that standard running board. And the great part is, is not only is the running board for helping to get in and out, but also gonna help protect that lower portion where that battery pack is from in between the wheelbase. And remember when I say wheelbase, we're talking about the space in between the front wheels and the rear wheels when you look at the side of the vehicle. Now coming towards the rear, of course, we have that four door usability, versatility. I love this rear pillar. Not only the way it's styled, but I'm really digging how it kind of just fits in with the whole look of the truck. As we come towards the rear, of course, you're gonna have your full plug-in capability right at the back. And just like your other Chevrolet Silverados, we do have that corner step, which is perfect that if you're wearing your John Wayne cowboy boots, or if you're wearing your Ronald McDonald clown shoes, you'll be able to fit those perfectly in there. And then of course, when we get to the tail end of the business, this is where you have a nice clean look. The way they did the bow tie on these Silverado EVs looks phenomenal. Of course, with the badging, you got your full tow capability all hooked up. The RST, what does RST stand for? Rally sport truck. Even the way they did the full LED lighting, very 21st century, very EV. And then working our way all the way down, you do have full tow capability. And it all depends on how you option the vehicle. The WT has about 10,000 pounds of tow capacity. This RST has about 8,000 pounds of tow capacity. Zero to 60 in this truck, this particular one here, you're looking at 4.5 seconds. And I just killed a bug, bug on the back of my neck. Now, when you get to the rear tailgate area, obviously you have that very versatile multi-flex tailgate. And then you're also gonna have the industry's first multi-flex mid gate. So this drops down nice and soft, that turns into your step. And you can see all the usability that's in the bed of this truck, especially our power outlets. This is where the Silverado EV is really gonna earn its keep with all those plug-in capacities, LED lighting, and then remember that mid gate is actually going to fold down. But while we go ahead, there's no engine under the hood, but there is something called an e-trunk. Let's go ahead and open it and see how much room there is. All right guys, time to get into that e-trunk. Trunk, first time ever doing this on a Silverado. Of course, when you normally pop the hood, you would have some type of internal combustion engine, nice power assist. What do we got going on here? Like I said, we have about 10 cubic feet of space. It's totally weatherproof. Love the way you have more plug-in capability. That's what's gonna make this truck this truck so versatile is going to be having that ability to plug in at the front, at the rear. And let's just talk about those performance numbers again. 754 horsepower, 785 pound-feet of torque. It's got a 4,000 mile range. And if you're wondering about charging, using a DC fast charger, you're looking at about 100 miles in 10 minutes. And you could option this thing up to have 14 different cameras. And when we talk about cameras, we're talking about all over this vehicle. But while we go ahead, 
let's get into the interior of this vehicle and see what the Silverados All bring. Right, guys, we are inside this 2024 first time ever Silverado EV RST. I know you're seeing yourself, well, Joe, this truck has me charged up. I'm really liking the look of it over the Ford Lightning. I think Ford played it too safe with the Lightning. Even Ram kind of surprised me that the Ram Rev wasn't anything revolutionary, like the name says. How much is this RST? No official pricing yet, but this top trim is expected to be around $100,000. But let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Like the clean contemporary style. So you're gonna have this wetsuit style material up top, easy to keep clean. You'll see the, R, uh, the RST badge right there in the door panel. Love the way they brought some color with the red and the blue contrast stitching. A little bit of dark chrome finish, and then we have the Bose sound system. And of course, we have enough room for a foot long sub cold cut trio, extra pickles and mayo, and two bottles of Pepsi to wash it down. Now going from the door panel to the dash, that neoprene material, easy to keep clean, the stitching, look at the way they did the AC vents, cool style. I feel like EVs are really giving GM and Chevrolet a chance to really bring some fresh style. Of course, we have our electrified Twinkie tray. This will fit easily 15 Twinkies. Of course, an electric Twinkie has green and yellow cream in the center. And then you come on in, and what are you greeted to? You're greeting to this massive 13.9-inch infotainment system screen. Now, unfortunately, I can't turn it on right now and go through the different functions, but just let it be known that this truck has, and here, I got it to light up for you to let you see the graphics and everything. It does have heated seats. It has ventilated seats. It has dual climate control. Most of the functions will be through the screen, but I'm gonna show you in a few seconds where there's actual physical knobs and buttons, but I like the way the screen is integrated into the dash over here. And Steven hopefully can show this dash area, which is a little bit smaller, shows you your charge. We only have 4% charge, but look, Here's where we have our heated seats, ventilated seats, the whole nine yards, working our way down, great style on the AC vents, dual climate control, some nice toggle switches if you don't want to touch the screen, wireless charging, two USB-Cs, a 12 volt, two cup holders, a place on the side here where you can keep easily three bananas so you can get your potassium. In the center, you have this nice large storage container where you could put another four to five Twinkies and then of course, I'm loving the material that they did. Stitching, Silverado, first edition, EV first edition. Open it up, USB-C and LED lighting. You could put, I would say about eight Magic 8-Balls in there. And if you haven't asked the Magic 8-Ball a question in a long time, they're a great way to make big life decisions. Like if you should buy a house, have a kid, or start a YouTube channel. That's what I did, I asked the Magic 8-Ball and it said, don't do it. But I did it. And look, it was wrong. So you can't always trust those Magic 8 Balls. Seats, the leather, soft as could be, the stitching, the piping, full electric assist for the passenger, full electric assist for the driver. And then of course, up top, we have this ginormous fixed panoramic roof. My one zonk, I would like to see a shade. Is there a shade? I'm not seeing a button for a shade. That is a problem. Hopefully with this being a pre-production, it does have a shade but we're gonna have to wait and see. But why don't you come over here to the business end? I got a flat bottom steering wheel, not with your name on it, duh, with the RST name on it. Come on right, over. guys, behind the wheel, as you can see, I'm six feet tall, plenty of room in here. And then of course, all those great seat controls are gonna be located within fingertips reach. You do have two memory seat settings, so if you wanna let somebody borrow your Silverado EV RST, you can let them do that. Steering wheel, absolutely love it. The red contrast stitching, there's that RST badge. You got the blacked out bow tie, flat black on all the switch gear, heated steering wheel. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what is this? This is for GM Super Cruise. And remember, they have tens of thousands of roads that are part of the Super Cruise, that semi-autonomous hands-off driving. Paddle on the back. This is gonna be for that regen braking. And then we already showed you the digital gauge cluster. We're gonna have more of that. And then you do have a column shift. For, so for those of you who missed the column shift from your Silverado truck, it's actually right here. 
but let's see if we could get into the back seat and show you that folding mid gate. Let's check it out. All right, guys, time to get into that back seat. This particular one being a pre-production, remember, we're getting early access, so we're just grateful for Chevrolet to allow us to see this thing in the flesh. Why don't we check out where your passengers are gonna be sitting. Now, first thing I want Steven to show you is that because this is a BEV, you have a totally flat floor. What that's gonna do is, is just maximize the space that's already in a Silverado compared to the internal combustion engine version. You have nice large pockets on the backs of the seats. You could easily keep two capper, uh, trapper keepers in both of those seats. And then in the center there, you have a nice little command center. You have your cup holders, you have heated seats, AC vents, USB-Cs, home power source, and a place where easily you could fit one Chipotle burrito, even get the guac, even though guac costs extra. And then just like up front, the seats have the same material with the stitching and that center armrest will be able to fold down very nicely. But now it's that time. We're gonna go and fold down this mid gate to really show off how much space we have in the Silverado EV. All right guys, this is gonna be one of the biggest advantages of this Silverado EV. And this just goes not just for the RST, but other trims as well will be able to get this feature. It has that folding mid gate. So basically what we've done is to kind of show the difference between down and up, we have the 60-40 split. So still that 40% is up, 60% is down. What that literally does is extends your load capability to a length of over 10 feet in the truck. And as we kind of come around, I just want to show you, and I think it's smart that they did a 60-40 split. So let's just say, for example, you have another person that needs to sit somewhere, you could still have that seat. So Steven's going to show you that seat in the down position, the mid gate folded down, and then that other passenger seat can remain up. Or of course, if you need to have it all the way across, you're able to do that. Now, of course, I know you want to see what 754 horsepower, zero to 60 in about 4.5 seconds looks like in this Silverado EV RST. It's not that time yet. We will be bringing that to you in a few short weeks after we get behind the wheel of the WT trim, which is the work truck. But let's go ahead, let's wrap it up here from right, Michigan. Guys, it's been one heck of a day, crazy travel day, getting stuck at the airport, wasn't sure we were able to be able to get this done, but let me know what you think about this Silverado EV. Of course, we gotta thank the whole Chevrolet team for getting us access to this beautiful, all blacked out, of course, except for the machine aluminum wheels on this Silverado EV RST. Is it the better one to buy over that upcoming Ram Rev 1500 or the current Ford Lightning? Let me know how you feel about it in the comment section, but if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rides family. Of course, none of this would be possible if it was, obviously we need Stephen Flood. This would not be possible unless Stephen Flood was here. He's doing the business. He's plugged in and charged up. Show him some love in the comment section. Thank you, Stephen, for all that you're doing. Just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.